So that meant that I suddenly had star status. <laughs>
Valentine tango. There's, that's the original tango. You know, that the ballroom tangos, American ballroom and European ballroom tango came from. But if you look at ballroom tango and you look at the original tango, they don't look anything alike in a way. They'll play some of the same music, but the way they dance them is different. And, and the, the tango was invented in Argentina in the 1880s because when the big European migration went to Argentina, there were so many more men than women. Men wanted to meet women to hopefully find a wife and, and, and uh, have a family and, and have kids. And they, somebody came up with the idea, if we can dance with them, we have a better chance. So, you know, we have dances where we can, you know, ladies will come and we can dance with them and do that. So guys actually learn with guys before they ever dance with the ladies because, you know, if they dance badly, that lessens their chances of having a lady. So if you listen, and then it evolved over that. It became a very kind of sexual, and some, sometimes even be, you know, the Pope and all, because are, 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 it's a very Catholic country, and others, that it was a very risque dance. And the, the French actually popularized it by coming to Argentina, seeing it, taking it back to France, and kind of cleaning it up. <laughs> and uh, it's what they call cleaning it up, anyway, to do that. But it, it is a very, a very intimate, lovely dance. Uh, there's three dances of Argentine tango. There's the tango itself, there's a waltz version, and there's a quick step version called Milonga. So you have actually a tr you know like a trilogy of dances of Argentine tango. And it is the most challenging dance to learn in the beginning because it's a walking dance. Everything is walking except that you have to just do it differently. And the hardest part of tango is not the steps but using your body and the lead and follow. Lead and follow is a tough thing. So as I always tell ladies, you know, ladies run the world. We all know that. All, all us guys know that have been around for a little bit. And so they're mostly leading, even though they kind of let us think we are. But in the dance, when it's a lead and follow, we get two and a half to three minutes to lead. Let us lead you. And that's been my challenge. She's doing it. <laughs> so we're going to do uh, a, a tango tango, not the waltz version or the malonga version. And just to give you an idea of what she'll be doing in a couple of weeks. Uh, and uh, and I, you know, the, when I, I, I taught the chief of police you know, four years ago, Burkhoff, the old chief of police to do tango. And I, although I do cha-chas and rumbas and foxtrots and all those things too, uh, I've been dancing about 55 years. Uh, it's just been my joy and my love. And I just, you know, I, it, it's a joyful, social, stress-relieving. Uh, men have asked me all my life how to have all these women in my life, and I say, I'll teach you how to dance. You know, and I don't dance to, you know, to find girlfriends. I dance because I love to dance, and guess what you do? You, you, you meet ladies. So it's a fun thing, so, and I always love it, so I like it. So what we'll do is I can put the music on, and we will give you a little version of what the Argentine tango looks like. And afterwards, since there's a few ladies here who have danced with me before, if any of you want to dance with me, we'll put on some of the music, and I'll be happy to get some of you out here to dance with
Late un corazón por quererte nuevamente. Siente mi soñar por que regresa lentamente. Siente mi corazón. Me parece ver que regresar con el adiós. Y al volver gritará horror en la verga el dolor la nafta.